Welcome back to Grounded in Truth. I'm Christina and today I got some footage of Scientology's secret international gold base here in Southern California in the low desert Riverside um, County. For some reason when people talk about that they don't say what the city's name is so I guess I won't either. I'm just trying to follow the rules. I don't know. Um, I, I drove by and I walked by part of it, um, the uh, golf course part is where I was. I was so scared that someone was going to break into my car. I would do the whole thing. I was scared of the whole thing. But if you want to hear about my takeaways, and um, stay to watch to the end and then I'll do, I'll do a recap of what I realized today. Um, I do want to say uh, my heart felt um, sorrow and um, support go out to the Presley family. Uh, Lisa Murray Presley passed away yesterday and it's horrible. It's so sad. It's so sad. Um, and um, Whitney, Whitney Wells, was it? Whitney, oh, I thought I put it on. Yeah, Whitney Mills. Um, passed away earlier this month another member of Scientology um, who took her own life and it's so tragic and it's so sad to me I've had a lot of um, deaths and uh, death by their own hand um, experiences uh, that I've had and it's um, it really it really affects me, it really makes me sad. It brings me back to what it's like, what it was like for me when when my friends um, passed away. So um, God bless her family, her children, her, her mom, um, everybody surrounding that, um, both, both, both women, but all, you know, anybody in Scientology who's, who's passed away, um, do to that. Oh, and, oh um, Kirstie Alley passed away. I think it was last month also. And there's a lot of stuff going on in Scientology and I wanted to name the names of the people that I watch and listen to and get information from. Uh, I'm not a Scientologist. I never was. But it's extremely fascinating to me because it's so parallel to being in a relationship with a narcissist. It's the same thing. It's just kind of plays out differently but it's the, the same uh, manipulation and control and so I just want to shine a light on Scientology um, I want to be part of the discussion I want to be part of their takedown because I I want people to be free I want the people in Scientology to be free of what it must be like to be in that cult and to the leaders, it's just a matter of time before we see the tiny tyrant topple. And um, Tom Cruise will probably get away, you know, with with it. But I, my my guess and my uh, prediction is that David Miscavige will just go somewhere else in the world and live the rest of his life out that way because of the stuff that's coming down. And so I wanted to name the people that. Um, that I said that I that have the actual information I have no information I can barely remember people's names but I live in a place that's close enough to a couple of different Scientology places the the least I can do is show you guys what it looks like if you're interested because it interests me to no end so thank you to Leah Remini, A. A. Ron, Chris Shelton, Mike Rinder, Jeffrey Augustine, Tony Ortega and the Aftermath Foundation and I'll try to put all those links in my description below. I have no affiliation to them. I just admire the work that they do and I appreciate them. And so I, I want to share that with you. Okay, so without further ado, um, these are uh, partially video recordings and partially um, Instagram lives. And I I don't know if it's legal to video when you're driving. 
So if it's not, then this will probably get taken down. I have no idea. I don't know so many things, but I just, I'm trying. I'm just trying. And maybe I'll have to re-edit, whatever. But for now, here you go. Thanks for watching. Oh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Hi guys, it's Christina from Grounded in Truth. Who wants to go by the Scientology International Gold Base with me? Uh, I'm going to go live, however long it takes me to get there, about 5-10 minutes. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that that's where I'm going. I have no idea how it's going to go. I don't know if, um, I don't know where their property line starts. So I don't know if I can walk down that street. It's not safe, but there's a little, you know, there's a little part. I don't know if it's for bicycle. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really excited. So come back in about 10 minutes and um, check out the gold base with me. Um, yesterday, we lost Lisa Marie Presley, and that's heartbreaking pretty much for everybody. Um, and, oh, I can't, shit. Anyway, I'll have my notes with me. So um, I'll see you in about. Hi, everybody. Um, I, okay, so I'm insane. I I acknowledge that I'm I'm mentally ill, right? I'm cuckoo bird in the head. But this is what I think just happened. I don't know if this is possible. Anyway, okay, so I think Scientology is just a big gang. Basically, they they function the same way. Um, they just manipulate people and get money. And anyway, so. I just made that little post and I imagine there are people who job it is to listen to or you know keep their eyes on the internet for any time the word Scientology pops up I don't know if that's true I just think that and so I made that little post and said where I was going right and I'm driving towards the gold base and I turned on this uh, major street, if you know the area, it's Ramona Drive, I think, Ramona something, and it's a wide street, I think it's like 55, 60 miles an hour, um, and there was a Jeep pulled off to the side of the road, oddly, like it didn't make any sense, like, you know, it had its flashers on and it was just kind of pulled out, it, okay, so it was parked there, and then I, I looked because it was odd and the person had a walkie-talkie it was a Jeep he had a walkie-talkie in his hand and he pulled out right behind me and he followed me for a couple miles until one of the other major streets that um, takes you to the gold base uh, to um, Gillen Hot Springs Road so I, 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 I don't know if I can drive and record live so I just uh, Pulled over. I'm in the city. I don't know why people aren't allowed to, like I've noticed when people um, who were formerly in Scientology who do videos and talk about this location, they don't say the city's name. So I'm not going to say the city's name because maybe I'm not supposed to. I don't know. But I live in the Inland Empire, which is comprised of San Bernardino and Riverside counties in Southern California. And we are about an hour and a half from the beaches and about two hours from LA proper, the city of LA. Um, it goes from basically Montclair in the west side all, all the way to Indio, um, which is on, um, on the other side of like Palm Springs towards um, Arizona. And then the um, Inland Empire is also comprised of Temecula at the bottom up to about Victorville or Apple, Apple Valley in, in the high desert is what it's called. I'm in the, I guess it's called the low desert compared to, to that. And it is in Riverside County. And I'm scared. I, I mean, I just want to walk by and, and, and show you guys what it looks like. But I don't know, number one, if it's legal. Number two, if it's safe. Number three, if I'm going to be talked to by some people who don't want me sharing what it looks like. I don't know. I don't know how it goes, but I know enough to know that it's possible that 
they will not allow me to go buy the gold base. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anywhere that I can park and walk by. And if not, then I'll just um, show you as much as I can. So I don't know if uh, if I can. Hi guys, I'm I'm going by the Scientology gold base. That's what I'm doing today. I don't know if there's somewhere close I can park. I don't know where their property line starts. So I don't want to fuck with anybody. I'm not trying to. Here's how I see it. Um, cults are the same as being in a relationship with a narcissist. It's just on a bigger level. It just um, seems to manipulate every single aspect of your perception of the world, of what your job is here in the world, of what you're doing. And it seems like um, Scientology itself and all that comes with that is more important than families, more important than your children, more important than, um, you know, your parents, your loved ones. And it's, it's tragic to me. And I don't hold any particular specific Scientologists like I don't blame them because I understand what it means to be brainwashed, what it means to be manipulated on a massive level. So this particulars, you know, the people who don't know what's going on, God bless them, you know, but the Tom Cruises and the David Miscavige's who are aware of the danger they put people in and continue to do it because, <sighs> because uh, <laughs> the tiny tyrant seems to, well, it doesn't, he just wants control. He wants control of money and he's never gonna stop, obviously, unless this case, um, oh shoot, what was her name? Me, me, Melanie, check my notes. Passed away um, this month. She was um, a member of the Sea Org, I think, in, Clearwater, Florida, and um, she took her own life in a really drastic, horrific, sad way. She was asking for help. She asked for help. There were people, you know, watching her because she was on the mental health watch or whatever they call it, and she she took her life. And um, I I I'm here because. I don't know it all, but I want to do whatever I can to help shed a light on the practices and the the, the family destroying cult and the mind destroying cult that is Scientology. And I live in Southern California. I had a reason to be down here, so I wanted to drive by and show you. And I'm gonna do that if it, um, you know, I have no idea if they even care. I have no idea if they're sitting in, you know, the blacked out cars next to me. I have no idea. Um, but what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, I get arrested for, I mean, I, but I don't, I don't even know. I don't even, you know, I don't think that that would happen because I, I'm not trying to be on the property. I just want to show you what it looks like. So anyway, if, uh, if you don't, if, if a live doesn't come up, uh, soon, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Either I'm just going to be recording it straight up on my phone to put on YouTube or um, my filthy car or, uh, or or they get me. So anyway, I'll be back as quick as I can. Uh, see ya soon. Um, where's Shelly Miscavige? So I am in a little city in Riverside County that is the home, well, yeah, it's pretty little, that is the home to um, the International Gold Base, a secret Scientology location, secret from the other members that aren't there. The place, if you watch Going Clear, if you listen to Leah Remini and um, Mike, Mike, oh no, that Mike Ritter, is that the other one, Mike, Mike Bobblehead, yeah. Um, anyway, if you listen to them, you, you have heard about the hole and all that kind of thing. Um, oh 
shit, I'm coming up on the different side? No, I know where I'm going. Okay, so those are the mountains um, behind me that you've heard about as well in Going Clear. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I am planning to walk. Oh, they're doing some road. They're doing something. Um, you can see those trucks over there. some kind of road work or something. I don't, I don't know if, uh, how long this road is going to be, um, is this even on? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, what is this one? I don't know what this dot is for on my phone. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep this road open to the public. You can drive by. I don't know if you can walk. That was my plan. I wanted just to walk by and kind of show you what it looks like. It's really desert. I'm stopped. It's really deserty looking. And all those are cows. So the cows are right there. And then way back there is where the gold base is. So I'm going to try to get as close as I can. I think uh, I just had a car following me because he had a little walkie talkie and he pulled out behind me out of nowhere. Um, so this is what it looks like where I'm at. Those are all cows. So when they tell you, you know, they're all stuffed in that one mobile home and it was really stinky. That's because, you know, I don't know if they're dairy cows, beef. I don't know. But uh, that's what's going on there. So my light's green. I'll be right back. So I was sitting in that, at that light forever and then some lady just pulled up next to me and was like yelling at me. Okay, so now I'm going, oh shit. Okay, well look and look behind, look out here because you can, you'll be able to see and that would be the south side. One of the lanes is closed right now. So, um, it's probably, they're probably, I'm probably not going to be able to walk. Golden Era Golf Course, right there. Um, yeah, the whole lane is closed. There's only one lane and there are more trucks. I don't know if they're doing electric stuff. Oh, they're everywhere. They're here. Oh, fuck. I can't turn it around. I don't know how to turn it around right now. So that's also the golf course behind me. And this is usually a two lane highway and one of the lanes is closed. So I'm driving on the side that's, holy smokes, all these trucks. Wow, I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what they are doing. All Star, this company, Par West, All Star Traffic Solutions, Inc. All right, I got a car behind me, but that's still the golf course if you can see it. Oh shit, okay, so now I'm gonna have to go slow, go to the other side of the road where I'm supposed to be. So there, um, that's what the traffic is all about. But I just, I'm gonna go slow as I can so you can get an idea. Um, I don't know what this all is. Um, looks like a tennis court, um, blue, uh, roofs of those buildings. I'm going to try to come back the other way too, especially if I'm going to have to sit in all this traffic and nobody's going anywhere. I can um, try to show you guys some more, more blue roofs. Um, I'm not going to take my phone off, but on the right is the house they built for Hubbard. Okay. Can you see all those apartments? No, okay. And this is the, um, the entrance, I think, with the little guard shack. I'm if I'm not missing. Yeah. Okay. Right here is the guard shack. And over here looks like a church. I don't know, but on on the other side is is the house they built for Hubbard, if I'm not mistaken, and or Miscavige's. Uh, okay. Oh shit. The, okay. Golden Era. The the big building, the production building is right there. So I'm gonna to try to pull off the road here and see if I can get through on the other side. That, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to do today. Okay, part three or so. 
I pulled off to a side road. Oh, I'm having a, a call. Let's not get that right now. So I don't know who that was. Um, I pulled off on the side of the road. I can see the Golden Era Productions building from here. Why don't I show you? I seriously have no idea how to turn this around when I'm recording. That's so strange. Like, I thought it would be easier. Anyway, so that way over there is the Gold Base Productions. And then he's, these are the mountains and the hills. I think these, oh, I might have my window down, uh, up. Um, I think these are somewhere up there is where that um, sniper nest is. Okay, so I'm gonna charge my phone and I'm gonna drive by the other way and see what I can show you. All right, I pulled off the side of the road. And, oh, I'm sorry it's so shaky, damn it. On the right, this Golden Era Productions building. It's gonna be behind me so I can go slow. type thing. I mean, it's really pretty. It's just stinky area because of all the cows. I can walk on this street? Not on this side. Not on that side? Do you know if I can walk on this side? As far as I'm concerned, you can. Okay. Thanks, man. I don't know how my um, connection's gonna be. I only have like a little tiny bar, but I'm parked down the road from the gold base. I'm kind of afraid to leave my car here. I'm um, <laughs> trying to get up the courage to go uh, walk by the Scientology International Gold Base in uh, Southern California, Riverside County. And I just posted a video. I asked the, the guy working in the road if I could walk down the street. And he said, as far as he's concerned, I can on one side, but not the side they're working on. So, like I said, I'm afraid to leave my car here. That's my fear right now. Cause if, uh, you know, I might be making this a whole mountain out of a molehill and they might not give a flying fuck. I don't know. But also they might come break into my car and steal whatever little things that I have in here because they're pissed that I'm showing what it looks like here. I don't know. But here's what I'm looking at. So, you wanna walk with me? 
see what we can do. If anything. I swear to God, that woman, when I was, um, when I was coming, when I was sitting in that stoplight, some woman turned her car around and pulled up to me and was yelling at me. I swear to God, that happened. I didn't, it happened so fast. I didn't, I wasn't recording. But why would that happen? Why would some stranger who I don't know for, like, why would they pull up to my car and yell at me? Like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay, anyway. Let's go. I don't know which glasses to wear. Like these ones so I can see. Yeah, I'll just wear those. It's not... Do I want to leave my shit in my car where they could just come get it? Fuck it. Oh, I just lost a nail. That's all right. I'll ask the guy if it's legal to park here. See if he knows. So, probably so far. So stupid. I feel like I'm stupid, but I'm so curious. I want everybody to know whatever I know. I want people to... get the information that they need to be safe and well. So if you just joined or you are um, watching this later, if I can upload this later, um, I'm walking to the International Gold Base of Scientology. I, ha <laughs> I have no weapons on me. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I can't cross on this street. So, no, I can cross on this side, but I have to go all the way to the other side. So I'm just looking around, seeing if anybody gives a fuck that I'm here. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to switch over to doing a video because I don't, if something happens and I can't save it on here, I'm going to be pissed. So I'm just going to do a video. So... Just keep your eyes peeled um, grounded in truth gray rock please like and subscribe my youtube channel i haven't done much lately but i've done a little bit so um and i plan to do more so please like and subscribe and i'll see you over there there we go all right so that's the little base over there and they're doing some kind of road work and then we're just walking by because maybe it's okay. He said the guy doing the traffic stuff so that it, I could walk on this side of the street. So I am. I am on Gilman Hot Springs Road, Riverside County, California. For whatever reason, I can't. I've noticed that a lot of the people that. Oh shit, I forgot my headphones. A lot of people that um, do. That talk about. Shit, I don't have my headphones. Um. That talk about this stuff uh, don't, don't give the city name so maybe that's just not the thing to do so I don't know but here is what Gilman Hot Springs Road looks like today Friday the 13th of January 2023 cactus more cactus because you'll get in the cactus. See the little blue roof? I wonder if they know I'm here yet. I wonder if they care. I'm just walking on the sidewalk. So, there's that. A beautiful Southern California low desert vegetation. Approaching Golden Era Protection. Oh, golf course. Golden Era Golf course. Street looks like. So, like I said, it's not a very safe street. Hi, Honker. Oh shit, there's no fence here. Okay, I'm not going back there because I don't need to do that. But I just want to show you. See the cows? See the cows over there? Am I more nervous than I need to be? 
I don't know, but I'm not trying to go on their property because I don't want to piss anybody off. Well, except for David Miscavige can suck my dick. All right, my battery's low. Um, okay, here's the golf course. I don't really want to walk by the guard shack. I don't really want a confrontation. <laughs> wow, so people can just walk here. That's interesting. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Okay, so there's a lake over there. And from what I understand, Hubbard had a Scientologist, um, you know, build all of this because across the street is this. It's not grass, it's just sagebrush. All right, I'm gonna save my battery. Be right back. Okay, so here I am at the golf course or whatever the lake would be called and my battery's about dead. Um, I need to get a new one for my phone. So I'm gonna go um, charge it and drive by the other side where uh, Hubbard's house and I think Miscavige's apartment is. I don't know, I'm not the expert. But oh, see, it's so, like if you didn't know, it's so lovely, so quiet and lovely. And there's not cars coming going by and there's like geese or ducks or whatever and it's really cool am i the only one this obsessed i must be <laughs> i don't know what that building is somebody can somebody who knows can tell us looks like golf not one person i do not see i have not seen one person i don't know what they're all up to that's all right Really? But I swear that Jeep thing did happen. <laughs> and that lady in the car yelling at me, so maybe. Oh. Here's something. I don't know where their cameras are over here. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Hi. See that? Here. There. That's the camera. So if you're just joining, we are at Golden Air Productions Golf Course. So I'm planning just to keep going till my battery dies, which is probably a stupid idea because something interesting might happen before that. But anyway, I'm just trying to make content, trying to shine a light on the family killer or the family destroyer that is Scientology and the soul destroyer that it is. God bless Lisa Marie Presley. God bless. Oh, okay. Here's somebody. No, he's probably just a local. I don't know where the property starts. again. Look at all these cactus. 
looks like this is more um i would imagine local to this area but it it's like really scary i wonder why nobody else has done this have they are there videos out there like this well, i don't know but here's here's one for today oh yeah it is lovely those are the cows in the back backyard there's the lake that people have had to dunk in it or whatever Shout out also to Tony Ortega. Uh, I, just all the people, all the people that cover Scientology's BS. Jeffrey Augustine, Aaron. Um, oh, my memory is not good. I can't remember the other names, but I'll, I'll, I'll put links in the description below. Okay. I don't see any cameras here yet. It's interesting. It's like a little oasis. Stuck in the middle of the desert. And this is where I'm walking. And I'm not feeling very safe right now. Okay, part Brazilian. I asked the, not Brazilian, Brazilian. I asked, uh, this is what it looks like a couple feet away. Well, okay, so Scientology is over there. That's where I just walked. My car's parked here. And this is what it looks like over here. Um, oh, but I asked the guy what they were doing uh, with the on the roads or the electricity or whatever. And he said that they are putting all of the lines underground. I don't know if that's just a city thing or Scientology thing. But I did not meet anybody I'm going to go in my car and plug it in and take my last pass on the other side, on the north side, go heading west. So I walked a ways. I can't remember what I did live and what I recorded on video. Um, and had no problem at all. Nobody came up to me. I saw a guy riding a bike and he kept going. Um, didn't look suspicious at all. You can see behind me is where this, where I'm at the Gold Base, um, International Gold Base Scientology. Just trying to show whatever I can, shining a light on the family destroying mind-destroying cult that is Scientology today, Friday the 13th of January 2023. Um, I'm just, I'm waiting here because they're doing street work. I don't know if you watched the other ones, but they're putting the um, electric electricity underground. So this two-lane highway, Gilman Hot Springs Road, is now, um, like we're taking turns, uh, part of the road is completely blocked off on that side so this is what it looks like and there's a camera right there I, so I, that must be their property beautiful looks like weeping willow trees I don't know and that's the north side the nicer nicer side these I imagine it is where people live. I don't know. Hopefully I can um, get all this stuff together and post it on my YouTube channel. Just, the link is in the bio here on Instagram. My battery was dying. Like I thought I was prepared, but I wasn't. So I had to come back to the car and um, charge it. I will be making more trips. I, I mean, I would like to, 
I would like to show as much as I can. And like I said before, I'm not, I was never in Scientology, but I was in a relationship with a narcissist and I think it's the same thing, uh, just on a grander scale. And this place is a nice little oasis. It's a beautiful little weird kind of other planetary situation. There's my dude that helped me on the street. I'm coming back because I'm <laughs> going back and forth. Um, so we're on Gilman Hot Springs Road in Riverside, California. I'm gonna do one more pass on the other side going the other direction trying to get the uh, the north side buildings for you to see I'm doing the best I can I, I think I did a, a picture or a video of it I'll just um, combine all this stuff on YouTube um, oh my god I'm gonna have to edit <laughs> if you watch my last video you know why editing stresses me out uh, my friend who was teaching me how to edit passed away and so I have an extra you know emotion about it it's been a couple of years um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things so I just want to thank you all for joining me and watching and please like subscribe follow wherever you're watching oh shit now I can't go on that street where my car was parked interesting okay they have it blocked off or it looks like it's blocked off okay cool well